Hi everyone and welcome back to another quick and easy sewing tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how I made this color block tote bag out of scrap fabrics. If you are a passionate sewer, I'm sure you have a lot of scrap fabrics laying around your sewing space. I have these three doors full of scrap fabric. These pieces are way too small to make a garment out of them, so I'm just keeping them for projects like this. To make this bag you can use as many patterns and colors as you like. For me I chose a variety of pinks and reds and also you can choose different textures. I also have here a piece of felt and also some satin fabric. The only fabric that I bought specifically for this project is the pink canvas fabric because I need a longer strip of fabric for the straps but you can use any other fabric if you have a longer piece at home. I also recommend you get some iron-on interfacing to make your bag stiffer depending on the fabric you use you might need it or not need it. Then you'll also need some fabric for the lining of your bag some scissors, a ruler, your sewing machine and some pins. To create the quilting pattern on your bag you can just wing it and go ahead and sew some pieces of fabric together but I have gone ahead and used some paper. I wanted my bag to be about 35 by 40 centimeters so I added some seam allowance to those measurements and I cut out a rectangle out of paper that is 42 by 37 centimeters. Then I've used a ruler to draw some rectangles and squares to create a design for my bag. And after I was done with that, I decided to also write the colors of the fabrics that I'm going to use for each rectangle. And I also recommend taking a picture at this point because we are going to cut out all of those rectangles and squares and the picture will help you know how to put them together again because it can be a bit confusing. And now you can use every piece of paper as a stencil to cut out your fabric pieces. After you cut out all of them and assembled them like this, I would recommend taking a picture again before moving on and sewing them together. I am using a straight stitch to sew all of my pieces together. The small hot pink square is made out of felt so I decided to place it on top and sew it using a straight stitch over the other fabrics. Then you can go ahead and press your seams, iron your piece of fabric and also attach your fusible interfacing using your iron. Now moving on to the straps. I want my straps to go all the way down my bag. So first I'm going to measure how long they need to be over my shoulder. And this is for me 50 centimeters. And then I'm going to measure the length of the bag which should be 40 centimeters. So I need two straps that are 130 centimeters long. For the width I've decided to go for 12 centimeters since I'm going to fold them like a bias binding inwards from both sides and then in half again. Use an iron while folding your straps in to make sure they stay in place, pin them and then you can go ahead and sew them using a straight stitch on both sides. This will give them a nice detail. And now you can go ahead and pin your straps on the front part of your bag. I use the measuring tape to make sure I place them symmetrically. And then I had a brilliant idea to add some pockets. 
So what I did is I took two more pieces of fabric, I folded them in half and cut out two rectangles that are the width of the space between your straps, if that makes sense. So my bigger pocket was 16 by 20 centimeters folded in half and the small one 16 by 10 centimeters. I placed them like this one on top of the other one with the folded part being at the top and then I placed them between my straps. Now you can pin your straps in place over your pockets and sew them using a straight stitch. I recommend sewing your strap starting at about 2 cm away from the top of your bag since we are going to add a lining and we are going to need to fold the top of the bag inwards a bit. I didn't do this so I needed to seam rip the stitch a little bit at the top when adding the lining. Now use the front piece of your bag to cut out the back piece. Iron the interfacing on your back piece as well, then add the straps on your back piece and then you can go ahead and sew the two pieces together. To give your bag a nice shape you can pinch the edges and sew them across like this. First I've pinned them and then I made a mark at 4 cm on both sides before sewing them using a straight stitch. Then cut out the excess fabric and turn your bag right side out. Use a pencil to push out those edges and you can also go ahead and iron them if you want to have a nicer shape. And then you can go ahead and cut out the lining for your bag. I've decided to use a lightweight fabric for the lining since my bag is pretty stiff with the interfacing. But if you didn't use an interfacing you could for example use a stiffer fabric for the inside of the bag to give it a bit more structure. I'm cutting the fabric for the lining on fold so I only have to sew it down on the sides and then you can place it on the inside of your bag. Fold the top edge of your lining and the top edge of your bag about 1 cm inward so they meet each other and pin it all the way around. Attach the lining to the bag using a straight stitch all the way around your bag and that's it, you got yourself a new tote bag out of your scrap fabric. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, if you do recreate this bag don't forget to tag me. I love seeing your designs, I think they are really creative. And this in particular is a really creative project I'd say, you can make this in a thousand different variations. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this, more sewing tutorials, especially clothing or baby DIYs. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.